and hello welcome back to the channel boys and girls now I've had the bike probably by the time you see this video nearly 10 months time flies when you're having fun hey eh? but you know not everything's been brilliant on the bike you know there could be a few improvements so this is like the top five sort of dislikes of the bike you know I'm even got me uh, mr. grumpy mug here coffee so um, we'll go a few things you know it's it's not 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 anything serious or anything like that but just a few things that me and mr. grumpy uh, have kind of sort of learnt to live with and uh, improved along the way really so uh, yeah we'll just go around these top five um, sort of yeah, things about the bike um, so yeah it's nothing serious but yeah I thought you know anyone who's thinking of getting one of these uh, spy triumph speed twins whether the old model or the new model um, these sort of little things which I've picked up in uh, nearly 10 months of ownership. Anyway, we'll go around with Mr. Grumpy Mug now, uh, talking about those things. So I'll turn the camera around now. Alright, well, don't shoot me. My coffee's quite cold now, so uh, not even leaving a mark. <laughs> anyway, number one on the dislikes of this bike. Well, now we're near the rear, so we might as well start around here. It's the shocks. I'm I'm not too worried about the shocks. They're fine for me. My um, weight, I'm about 12 and a half stone. Um, I even been a short rider. I still have it on the stock preload. However, I've never really been able to adjust this. Um, the tool they give you behind here is meant to go into the little hole just there. Well, it's easier to show you on the on the other side in there to to do adjust the preload. However, it doesn't do anything. And to adjust it, you need to take these off by the looks of it. And I just think that's such a poor, 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 poor design. You know, luckily for me, I, I haven't felt the need to do it. However, you know, on its foot legs, so, so I might ask them just to uh, put it one up just to see if I do notice any difference. But for my side, right, I've been fine on the, on the bottom of the uh, preload there. I never take a pillion. But yeah, really bad design and I can understand anyone who upgrades the rear shocks to be honest like I said I'm happy with them at the moment that's just my style of riding however you know it's a simple case of uh, undoing it and replacing it out of it really does bother you but I think considering they've done the same thing just in a different sort of color color style I think it's uh, black and silver springs on the new one but yeah it's still got the same issue why triumph why so that's number one so the next one for me would be the Rosso Free tires. Now I've done a video on the tires. These have been pretty good for me. Um, I'm a fair weather rider, and when the temperatures all right, sort of like 10 degrees plus, they've been absolutely fine. You've seen videos where I've ridden in the wet, not had any issues. Obviously, you do have rain mode, you know, and trash control, which help you. But to be honest, they wear nice, but you know, they're nothing like the Michelin. Uh, road fives or anything like that which i've had on the bike before in like sort of seven degrees downwards yeah you have like zero confidence in them um and they're just a bit sketchy now on the new model they've gone complete opposite they've put some like really sticky tread on and um, i just think that they've they've made it more sporty which is great because it is the speed twin however i think uh something like the road fives would have been better suited and um, so yeah i just think you know they they just done the wrong tire choice probably on both bikes however i think i'd rather much the sticky sticky tires in the summer um and sort of like uh touring tires in the winter but that's just me and um, they've been fine it's just uh yeah a few outings since it's got a lot colder since i first had the bike yeah they're not brilliant so i think they need us an all-round tire on them anyway it's personal choice on tires it's all to do with confidence and um, so that is number two now we'll go to the front part of the bike for the next bit in fact, I didn't have to go too much further because the next thing was the stock exhaust system. Now, on the 2019 to 2021, before the new 21-22 version came out, um, it was a black can with silver end caps. Um, yeah, when you wash the bike, I was always having to like get to the ACF 50 just to get like the watermarks and stuff off it. It was something which I noticed after the first two washes I did of the bike. 
and you know it's all right because you know as you know i like to keep a very 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 clean bike as you can tell um but yeah it's just annoying so yeah i think with the new one they've got its uh silver with a black end cap although the disadvantage of the new one is obviously you have the welded in cats in the silencers so you'd have to change the silences if you want any more sound um but yeah i doubt i would have changed the stock end pipes if they were just like silver even with a black end cap um but i did purely because i i just thought them like the matte black sort of look I just I just didn't like it especially after he got dirty showed all the marks and stuff um but once again it is personal preference but yeah I swapped out purely because because of that um, and I thought well if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it properly hence why I got the pro to pros and uh, you know it's customization it's all to do with your own uh, personal uh, preferences but yes yeah, so i went for them and yeah really really nice especially now coupled with the x pipe as you probably seen in a couple of videos back right now we will get to the front of the bike now ugh. radiator guard and bash guard now I've had to, I fitted these, I fitted this as soon as I got the bike without even doing a mile because the one I test rode already didn't have one in the UK for some reason. I believe some of the early model ones did but obviously mine was a late registered 2021 bike uh, but 2019 model. Um, they would stop fitting them with the uh, Triumph bash guards. Why? Literally, the one I test rode literally had all the fins already bashed in, and it has only done 200 miles. I just think they are asking for trouble. They really are. I'd, I'd love to see what Triumph would say if you went in with a bus radiator. There's no doubt they'd blame you. So, why don't they fit these as standard? Of course, they're going to cause themselves such a headache not doing this. I know they're saving money, but that's another one, number four, which does my head in. Um, and the same with the bash guard. I think, you know, for something so simple why wouldn't you do that because it, it just you know i don't know it's just just something which, which bugged me and that's why i i got the two fitted well see definitely this one more than anything else just because of the the damage i saw on the one i test rode which like i said only had 200 miles so try and get your act together on that please <laughs> now the last little moan coffee's nearly run out as well with mr grumpy aka me now, the last one, I'll just put that there. The throttle. You see, it's a Euro 4 thing, but when I test rode the Euro 5 thing, it's still there. They still have this sort of uh, on off snatchy throttle, um, where there's lots of play. Obviously, I've got less play now because I've put the throttle spaces in, which you would have seen before I even done a mile, and it is much, much better. You know, before there was loads and loads and loads of play. Um, I know they obviously share parts because it's a Ducati Spacer kit, which, you know, works as well, you know, when you buy them. Um, so it's the same assembly, I believe. But why or why would you want that much play? For such a simple, like, you know, to put, if you get a 3D printed one, you look a couple of quid to, you know, if you want to pay full price or something, they're, you know, they're going to be like sort of 20 to sort of 30 or quid on, you know, eBay. Uh, they all do the same thing, but for such tiny little bits of plastic, there's a video I've done when I first got the bike. I, I don't understand what, why they would think having lots of slack on your throttle is a good thing. Um, now, slow speed um, fueling on the Euro 4 bike has always been a thing. People put booster plugs in, they put the spaces in to help. I find if you use the uh, sort of mode and put it down to rain in town, it's absolutely fine. Um, I've not done the booster plugs. I don't find that I really need that uh, when going around town. I tend to avoid town. I live in, luckily I live in the countryside, so I don't have to go into town too often. Um, but since fitting the sort of X pipe down there, um, I found it, it's a lot smoother anyway. And you know, if you if you light on your throttle and stuff like that, pulling away even in sports mode, it's absolutely fine. But for me, the worst bit was the amount of slack on the accelerator, uh, on the accelerator, on the throttle housing itself. Um, but yeah, that's a simple cure that though. So that's me and Mr. Grumpy uh, 
moaning about the uh, thigh things that we think could have been better and they could have even improved it on the new newer version as well which they blatantly haven't which is baffles me but uh, hey ho um but yeah no that, that, that's it really the bike is phenomenal you know i love it um yeah there's plenty more content to come obviously as the uh, weather improves so um this is just another little garage sort of winter vlog um i had five minutes of morning coffee and i thought i tell you what let's let's do what i think the five worst things of this bike are anyway if you're going out wrap up warm because it's bloody cold and um i'll see you on the next one take care bye